Hi, I'm Leslie Peterson, the Alberta biologist at Trout Unlimited Canada. Today I'm going to be telling you a little bit about bioengineering, which is a technique we often use to reduce sedimentation and restore stream banks. A lot of our work takes place along trout streams, not just because we only care about trout, but they can be really great indicators of the health of a stream. Plus, many of our, our native trout populations are in trouble, which tells us that the health of their habitat could be out of balance as well. Trout need clean, cold water to survive. One of the more common pollutants we see along streams is sediment. Although sedimentation and erosion are natural processes, sometimes we see too much sediment running off roads and other bare ground. Bioengineering is a technique we often use to help speed up the recovery of these disturbed sites using natural material and live cuttings from willow and poplar stands. These deep-rooted native trees and shrubs are an important part of many riparian or shoreline plant communities. Some of our bioengineering projects are pretty simple, involving manual labor, willow stakes and hand tools to immediately add some structure and stability to a slope and create the conditions for other plants to naturally colonize. For example, this willow wattle fence. Heavy equipment can also be used to effectively plant layers of stakes in rows along a slope. Over time, these brush layers will help filter runoff and their deep roots will add strength to the soil, acting as nature's rebar. The compacted bare ground of old roads or trails can also act as sediment chutes, carrying mud directly into streams during snowmelt or rain events. An excavator is a great tool to quickly loosen up compacted soil, creating the conditions for plants to grow. The mounds and holes also slow down water as it runs downhill. This rough and loose technique helps act as a filter, allowing water to be much cleaner by the time it enters the stream. Along with some willow staking or other bioengineering techniques, this goes a long way to recover degraded sites and kickstart a healthy riparian plant community that prevents sedimentation and keeps the stream clean and healthy for fish and all the other critters that depend on clean water. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you're interested in learning a little bit more, be sure to follow us on social media and check out our website, tucanada.org.